Okay, in today's math lesson, we're going to start a new topic, which is measurements. So I'm going to introduce you to measuring in metrics and customary units. Um, so metrics is centimeters, um, yards, things like that, and customary units is what we know, inches, and yeah. Um, can somebody read to me the bottom um, learning target? Yeah, good job. Does anybody else want to repeat what Billy just said? All right, awesome. Okay, so I can measure objects around the classroom and on Splash Learn in both inches and centimeters. So I'm going to show you guys a ruler and I'm going to teach you the rules of how to use a ruler. Um, so I'm going to go over the rules and then I'm going to go over using it with the ruler again. So when using a ruler, you're going to align the object um, with the edge of the ruler. You're going to place the end of the object at the zero hash mark. It's important that we place it at the zero hash mark and not the end of the ruler. That way our measurement is accurate. The ruler is not a tool, is a tool, not a toy. It is very important that we remember that and that we are being appropriate with our rulers and the tools that we are given. So how to use a ruler. So like I said before, we want to place our object. So in this case, it is a pencil at the zero hash mark not the edge of our ruler right here. So if it was at the edge of our ruler like that, then our measurement would be off. We want it to be at the zero. Um, that way we can measure. And then when measuring, we find the end and we can see that this pencil is 10 inches or centimeters. It depends what you are measuring and what unit you are asked to measure in. Okay, so now that we went over the rules of using a ruler, we are going to go back to this slide um, and we're going to watch a short video um, on the difference between the customary and metric system, which I talked about before. The customary um, measurements are inches, feet, things like that, that we know um, and that are used in the United States. The metric system is what is used pretty much everywhere else in the world. Um, and that's our centimeters, yards, things like that. Um, so let's go on to Scholastic Study Jams, and we will just watch this quick video. Can you believe my soccer team's going to Italy? You are so lucky! Okay, now that you have quickly um, watched the video on your own device, I want you to test your knowledge and what um, you learned from this video about the um, units of measurement. Now that everyone has watched the Scholastic Study Jams video um, and took the quick test on quiz um, on units of measurement, we are going to create our own ruler. Um, so everyone, I am going to give you a ruler and you are going to find ob an object that is exactly one inch long in the classroom and another object that is exactly one centimeter long. So when you are creating this ruler, you are going to find these objects first and foremost. 
and then you're going to use the object to make little tick marks on the piece of paper that I gave you and um, write above it one, two, how many objects it is, um, which will create your ruler. Now that everybody has created their ruler, we are going to evaluate our peers rulers. Um, so we are going to use peer grade um, and we're going to compare the lengths of the lines um, on our peers rulers to a real ruler. Um, so when creating our ruler, I told us how important it was for us not to put our names on the ruler. Um, instead, when you are finished with your ruler, you brought it up to me and I put a number on it and created a little cheat sheet with um, your name and a number. Um, so I'm going to pass out the rulers. We can go on to peer grade um, and we can anonymously give feedback to our peers on their ruler, whether it's accurate, not accurate, um, things like that. Now that we have um, evaluated our peers' rulers and looked at them um, and checked whether they are accurate or not, we are going to um, go into our lesson closure, um, which we will, you know, further our knowledge a little bit more first. Um, so we are going to log on to Splash Learn, which you guys have all used before, um, and we know it is a learning game um, which records your progress and sends it to me. That way I can see whether or not you understood the um, topic that we were going over today, which is measurement. So I assigned you a um, activity to do. Um, which is going to review how to measure with a ruler in both centimeters and inches and you are going to complete the little games so um, please get out your devices and log on to Splash Learn. Now that everyone has um, completed their Splash Learning games um, we are going to do a little bit of a Kahoot, that way we can um, just, I can further assess whether you got this or you didn't, um, and how I can improve my teaching. So once again, stay on your devices and you guys can pull up Kahoot and we will do this short little Kahoot. Okay, now that we have finished our Kahoot, great job everyone. Um, and that's the end of our math unit for today. These are the materials and equi equipment that I used in my lesson. And then these are some of the references I used. All right, thank you.